Hello everybody, Berto Guy here, and welcome back to the crust. Alright, so quite a bit of time has passed between episodes. I'm trying to set things up, kind of plan things for the future a little bit. Because we still haven't accepted people yet, and I still kind of want to like do as much as I can before I have to do that. Why? I don't know. I just feel like that's like a goal of mine. I just want to try to accomplish as much as I can before letting the whole hope thing happen. I don't know, it's just fun um so we need modular frames modular terminals microprocessors uh pretty much all the same thing for that one this we need uh control units and uh composites so we need a few things in order to finish these off right uh main goal is the reason for this is i'm going to get ready for mining on the exterior part of the planet. And I think that would be good. Um, we pretty much well completed everything there is to do out here, like checking for exclamation marks or question marks. And this guy's just kind of like going around delivering stuff to like places that he can, right? So he'll probably come bring bricks here next and then I'll have him. Uh, no, I can't do that one with any technicians. I think there was just like three of them left really. Yeah, these three left. So he's going to bring ice to there and whatever, right? So, um, and then we're going to slowly get ready for mining. Um, so one of the things that we are going to be able to do uh, is this right here. Um, we'll click on here. We can go geological exploration. And the reason why we can do that is because it's part of the science that I've been, I've been doing. All right. So I've done a lot of science. So that way we didn't have to sit around and wait for it like in the through episodes and stuff. And we can kind of like, you know, carry on a little bit smoother. So we got the modular terminal factory. We got the assembler. Um, I'm learning the assembler too right now. It's uh, almost uh, 56 days, probably because the science is dying down. Um, large bulk storage, we got that unlocked. Uh, conveyor belts. I'm trying to go for this one so I can get the conveyor belts to go longer underground. Over here, we managed to get the heavy machinery, vehicle hanger, and the um, mobile drilling, drilling rig uh, upgrade. So we're going to mine just a little bit 25% faster. Plus, we also got this, this prospector. That's the thing that we're going to be able to scan on the surface of the planet to see if there's any, like, um, I guess, ore patches up there. And that's pretty much all I've done for here. In social, I just kind of started this and this as well. And we'll just let that go as time. Um, so how I was getting my science is I was buying science from here. Or I would go into the contracts. Oh, wrong one. Let's go back here. I'd go back to the contracts. And I would try to find a contract with science for sale. And I would try to, like, you know, complete it if it gave me, like, lots of science and I had, like, the, the resources for it. And I just kind of went back and forth like that through um, through everything, right? So, in order to get, like, this, I could buy, like, a lot of the components and kind of, like, go through it. But we're not helping ourselves really with that because some of these things we can actually start creating, all right? So let's go down here and we look at our bus that we're kind of slowly creating. Um, gonna have to take off the um, create a new line and for the the rare earths because one of the things that we're gonna be doing today is gonna create rare earths. Now, I wanted to kind of keep it all nice and clean like this, but it's not gonna happen. Um, the the machines aren't all kind of like the same size, so they're all different lengths and everything. So it's going to be hard to kind of make this end section look nice unless I start bringing materials backwards and whatever. Now, this is almost done. It only has 750 units left. <sighs> I'm really debating on whether to let it go and then maybe try to like set it up so that the items come back and flow like this. But whatever, we'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. Um... So the first thing we're going to start off with is these modular terminal frames things. These do require the components and the chips that we're making here. And you can see that these are like relatively long. It's like a lot longer than this one here or that one. So that's so why I'm saying it's really going to be really hard to kind of like match things up to the way we've been doing it right now. Right. So um, 
kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, I could do something like this and then have the items come off and then the belt go up and, you know, I could, you know, cheese kind of like that, but then it won't look as good if I'm trying to put multiple of them by side by side, because eventually I'm sure I'm going to need more than just one of each of these machines to kind of like complete things. Um, so that's why I'm trying to leave myself room to kind of like work down. Right. And even this is like subject to change. I can end up taking this eventually and bringing it away over here and then just having a line coming through. Right. And then this will be free, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. Um, I did put a slag line going through here. So this guy could probably end up getting rid of this eventually and just having this slag go up and yeah. So anyways, let's uh, kind of, it's future, future me problem. Um, so I do want to have something like this. I don't want them coming directly right off the end, or maybe do I? Uh, switch them around so we do the chips on this side. And I'll leave a space. Yeah, all right. So that looks pretty good. So these chips are here. We'll put a conveyor belt there, there, these ones here to there. Sure. We'll use normal belts because we don't need them going in there lightning fast because we don't have that production input coming this way, right? That is connected, right? Yeah, it is. All right. Um, then we need to go this to there, that to there. I'm assuming when it makes a noise, it's saying like it's all connected, maybe. Who knows? Uh, then these will come up here like this. We'll have you I want you one away. Yeah, like that. And then we'll bring you to the end because God knows if you're going to need you in another production later on. And then this is why I want to get the longer, the longer ones because I get capped out here. And if I go to the next level, I should be able to make it. Kind of hoping. <laughs> but then we're going to get screwed later on, too, as we work our way down. We won't have that double room to to do that. So maybe I should have been leaving even more space in between. But, uh, yeah, it's too late for that now. Um, yeah, I, I, at one point, I'm probably going to have to widen these just a little bit to make them workable. Which is going to take up a lot more room, but... Oh, well. So anyways, uh, we'll just get rid of that one for now because we're just going to let them go off the belt, I guess, until we get those upgrades. So this here is going to make those modular factory things. Um, the next thing we're going to work on is do, 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 do the assembler. So the assembler has four recipes, three of them which we can do right away. So that's kind of fun. Um, that is kind of fun. I'm almost wondering if I should like start turning that and then having my next production line on the inside and then my things coming here because these are going to like eventually go away. Right. And I'm going to maybe avoid making it. Well, it's going to kind of come up to the same thing because I'm going to have to send the items this way too, right? Yeah, yeah. Unless I do these. I don't want to do them in a row because then I can't get the items off properly. Yeah, we're going to have to kind of do uh, something like this. And we're just going to have to keep getting wider, I guess. Um... <laughs> Yeah, it poses a... I, I hope these belts go really long. Uh, these underground conveyor belts. I hope they go very long. Because I'm going to need them to. By the time I'm done these three production things, we're going to be, like, down into here. So, interesting. Interesting. That's something to think about. That's really something to think about. Because... Now is the time to kind of correct something like that before things get too big, maybe. Yeah. 
And I could start with this one by bringing it down and down and down. <clears throat> I could do something like that. Interesting. I gotta, I gotta really think about this. I'll be back. <laughs> All right. So if you look on the the research of it, it goes pretty far down, and I'm assuming like that's gonna be pretty long. Um. So I'm gonna like go with what we got right now, and then kind of do something later. If I have to like, you know, widen them out later on, I'll do it later on. Yeah. So as was my final decision. Took me a whole five minutes to figure that out. So we're gonna do it like this now. Um, definitely gonna leave a space in between. I need at least two there. So that should be fine. Okay, so this first one, this is where we gotta decide on what we're gonna start with. We can do these, we can do these. That puts a double strain on these. And then that's fine. Um, I guess let's start off with these ones because we're going to need them for the build upstairs. Same with these. These ones I didn't see up there, but we will do those ones last, I think. Just because they use these and that one uses the next one. So we'll start off with the modular frames. So we need bricks. Oh, I don't have a brick line here, eh? Ooh, I just realized that. I don't have a brick line. So does that mean I could change all of this and have to bring it down and then get bricks to come down here? I think that's what I'm going to have to do. All right. So a little bit of a rework later. I'll be back. Okay, so we did a little bit of a revamp. <laughs> and it looks nicer like this. I separated everything by the two lines, so that way we can put uh, two of these face-to-face. -face. I pushed all this stuff back, so then that way we can um, we can have a proper production line. I think they'll look nicer. I also got the mining all the way down here, so as you can see, lots of time has passed. Uh, we got almost a million bucks. I had well over a million. I got an achievement for it, which is good. So now we have... Our rare earths just coming straight across here. They can get picked off of here and then farther down the production line later and so forth. So now I also got rid of the miner that was here. It emptied out, uh, so that's good. So now we got all this extra space now. Um, so now the first thing that we wanted to do, I think I already had this built, but uh, I want to do it again anyways. So let's go to production. We are doing... Which one are we doing? The modular ones, these modular frame ones. Yes, those are the ones. All right, so we'll set these up. Uh, where do we want this? At least three blocks away. And at least one block away from that. That'd be fine. Or do we just put it straight up? Could put it straight up, but I like keeping that block distance. So we're going to keep that block distance. Um, should be able to pull them off from here. Okay, so you're the rolling mill. You're making me the components. Uh, did I not do the these ones yet? Okay, those are. Okay, these are the components, sorry, and these are the other ones. Oh boy. All right, um, let's go back over here. Oops, there we go. Um, production. Modular terminals. And then the farthest one is those. Closest ones are these. Yeah, I go like that. All right. <laughs> it's just because I like to make things look nice. Sorry, people. So I kept quite a distance in between here. Oh, that's a one block distance. Just like you. All right. We'll go here. These ones need to come to here. Uh, yeah. 
we'll go like that. Then these ones are here. And can go like that. You can come into here. You can go there and you can go there. Uh, one, two, three. Just going to do this for now. It's pretty expensive. I go like that, I think. And then this will work out because then I can do like this here to like that and then straight off of there I can go here this can go there and this can go there um build all right so that will give us those little frames that will give us these all right Good, 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 good. Things are kind of working out. Um, I don't know how well they're going to work out for these ones. These ones might have to come back a little bit. I might even do that. I might just like and have them come back on the belts on this side. We'll see how jank it looks first. Um, otherwise, I might just spread them out afterwards. It all depends on how much this is going to affect things. Um, the assembler. Okay, so the assembler... I do want not to interfere with these ones. See, we're already starting to pull pull away quite nicely there. <laughs> but then I also could do something like this too, right? And start pulling them off like there and then sending the items upwards. I could do that because all the items that I need are right here already. But then there's the belt thing here that would look jank. All right. Let's just kind of keep it going the way we're doing it then. Okay. Perfect. So now, what are we going to make here? I said these ones first, right? Yeah, the bricks and the plates. All right. So let's make those first. So we need bricks and plates. Bricks are these ones right here. And these are the plates. All right, that looks pretty good. And we'll connect those up. Connect you up. Uh, we will destroy you and you for a second. I want to keep you that one belt length. I can do with the other ones. All right, then one, two, one, two, three. That would be the belt for this one. Um, you go like that. That's good. Yeah, see, we've pulled the head quite a bit here. So, um, I go like this. Do right on the corner. And that way it gets separated right away, maybe. <clears throat> See, then that brings me there. Interesting. So I guess I should just start the new boxes wherever the, the thing is. Because otherwise it will look kind of nasty if I start doing corners and this and that. Even if I did bring it back here, I'd have to do like a, a 45 degree, put another one, go here. It would just be really complicated and it look nasty, I think. All right, so we're just going to get rid of these. Um, and then I'll just let time play. We'll let them do what they have to do. And then once this is built, I'll come back. And uh, we'll continue on from that point.
All right, so we got all that built. That's all put up in here now, so that's good. Uh, now we're going to work on the next one. Trying to leave uh, that one space. Really haven't been looking at the recipes either to see which which is which, but I think this should be fine. Um, oh, I didn't keep the one space on that one, though, did I? I just kept it there. I guess that's fine. Try to space them out just like that. All right, so this one is going to be these, I guess. Yeah. And then we'll do those ones last. All right, so these require the chips, and they also require the silicone. Uh, chips are which one? Are no, it's this one. So these are chips. Fourth line in, all right. So we'll go something like this. Oh, which is which here on these? Uh... Oh, it doesn't show? Does it matter? Because like, usually it matters. Question mark, question mark. Is it because it's not built? Is that it? Or is it do just doesn't care? Huh. Um, this one seemed to be okay. Even though I put the stuff in. Uh, maybe did I just get lucky? Or here, let's build it first. Because <laughs> I don't want to get screwed. I think that would probably be the best thing to do. And then I'll know for sure, right? That it doesn't really matter as long as whatever goes in there type thing. I think that's probably the better thing to do. Because like I said, I could have just got really lucky there. And I might not get lucky twice in a row. Okay, so now we're waiting for someone to come drop probably the last stuff up there. Okay, so this needs to be constructed. Thank you. All right, so no, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay, that's good. So one, two, three, off of this line right here. So that should go there. This should go here. And then we'll do the same thing here. Except now we got to go all the way up to the purple stuff, right? Yeah, here. Okay, it stops there. I'll switch it around. And the purple stuff is not supposed to be my very first line. Yeah, why? Are, oh, um, you're going there. Oh, but I didn't have you connected here. Well, that's that's a big that's a big bummer. <laughs> hmm. Okay, it's okay. It didn't really seem to bother too much. I didn't have that much uh, stored up in there. I guess so. It's all good. It's all good. Plus, we got a thousand in there anyway, so I'm not too too worried about it. All right. Um. So now we got to put those lines in. So. This has got to come off of here. That is going to go with that one. You are going to go in there. One, two, three. And then I'll bring you out here. Connect you to you. There, that's done. Then we'll take it directly off of here. We'll do a little switch thing here, and then, oh, um, I wonder if I should go farther. There, we'll just go like this. How far does it go? Okay, it makes it over to that one. And then, did we get there? Yeah, awesome. We'll copy one of these, not like that. Then we'll put the conveyor belts in, not like that. 
here to there, here to there, here to there, and then these ones were, where are those? Right here, our microprocessors. That's good. Um, let's go back to belts and, oops. Oh, okay, I did click on it. Oh, right on. <laughs> Even better. All right, um, now we just got to get power there. So what's the urgent contract? 170 and 110. Mm, I do have it, though. I don't know if it's really worth it. I'll think about it. No, I won't do it. Uh, all right, so uh, power. Just bring that off of there. That off of there and there. All right, so now that's going to get power. Like, this is going to be, like, slowly over time we're going to get this crap because, um, obviously, you see, these productions are extremely slow. So, yeah, we'll, um, we might speed a few of these up. Like, this one, I could probably put another one. Uh, this one's making the dips. Um, oops. And you guys are making the plates. Can I double you guys up? If I double you up there, that'll be a just fit. Otherwise, I'd have to move that conveyor belt, right? Um, I did kind of... Well, no. I think I can fix that. Alright, so let's go something like that. Get rid of that for now. Um... Go pipes, switch that. So I need to at least leave a gap, right? Yeah, I need to at least at least leave a gap. Um, yeah, let's do that. Then we'll get rid of this, this, and this. We'll rebuild that. That's fine. Then we can go here to here. Put that one in there, that in here, uh, that to there. Probably already had a thing, but we'll see if that works. Then this one, I'm just going to have it go here to there. And then we'll do the pipe thing here again. Uh, to there. To here. To there. All right. Join that up. Join this up. Then that's all connected. And the output, we can just get it to do this. And for power. We can snag it off of there. Probably not the best thing to do, actually. Um, probably best to like throw a, a new power line in there, really. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then we'll connect you to there, you to there, and then both of you guys will have power. All right, so let's do that. That's going to get built, so we'll have a little bit more of those going. Um, let's double the production of this too, right? Because we can we can kind of afford it, right? Um, so let's go a belt to this one, or that to there, this to there, that to there, right? And then this one, I think I'm just going to continue. Oh. Like that. And then I can just do the this under over type thing if I want, right? And then we'll bring that up. We can uh, build that because that's good. Power wise, we'll bring you down here like this. We'll give you a new connection. So there. Um, that didn't work out. There we go. That worked out. 
So there we go. Now we are <clears throat> creating twice as much as those, twice as much as these. So that might help the output a little bit. We're going to suffer maybe a little bit on plates or um, these, um, these things over time. But we're going to work towards getting a lot more aluminum and <clears throat> stuff like that, right? So I think we'll be good for that. That it won't double up because it's taken already too much of the, the uh, what is it there? Is it aluminum that we're, no, titanium. Too much titanium. So now we'll just do the last one here. And we'll get this set up for what we want to do here. Yeah, that looks good. This one is going to be these plates. <clears throat> and uh, apparently it doesn't matter which is which, so that's just good. So let's go to... Now those titanium plate ones are this one here. And the rare earths are that one there. All right, so... Let's start off with here. We'll go with that one. This one will go. It actually makes it there. That's pretty awesome. All right. You to there. You to there. You to here. You to there. One, two, three over like that you to there then we'll put you here and then i can get to there that's ah, better than nothing right yeah that's fine control c put that one to there all right There, not to there. And these will be these things here. All right, so that's the automation kind of process that we're going to kind of go through. Now, obviously, this is going to take quite a bit of time. And I'm really disappointed that nothing uses steel so far. Like, nothing. Like, the only thing we've been doing is storing and selling steel. So I'm a little bit perturbed about that. But hopefully that will all change uh, in a little while. Uh, let me build that. All right. That's good. So we're now way under a million bucks. Um, we need power now. Let's go something like this. There we go. And then that will get power. All right. So that's where I'm going to call it. We managed to pretty much will revamp the entire line and how we're doing things. Um, we managed to set up the, what are these things here? The module, module terminals. We did modular frames. We did microprocessors. And now we have drillium plates. What's this? Uh, no. I don't have 4,000. If I had like a double storage of this, I probably would, but uh, I don't. So, but anyways, um, I think that's pretty good for today. Next time. Hopefully, we'll try to get into this stuff here. Um, I'm hoping that over time, we can have these create the items that they need and slowly back up. Um, and in the meantime, like I'll do a bunch of mining and trying to find out more resources. And that will also help extend the the, the duration of our, our things down here because we do have like a lot of different nodes down here that we can we can exploit, right? So... As long as we keep mining, we can keep exploiting them and keep dragging time on before like we <laughs> continue on in the game. It is kind of cool. So I'm going to do that as long as I possibly can, um, especially when I get these things up and running. Like, Because once we start getting a decent system of bringing in uh, materials from outside of the moon on a regular basis, and like a lot of them, then we'll probably be in a good position then. So... But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Peace, take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.